And we're on chapter 14, 4. Our essential question is how about geometry connected? Um, our lesson is classifying angles. So angles can be met in a more precise way than turns. We were talking about quarter and a half turn and a full turn um, before. The unit used to measure an angle is called a degree. A degree is made up, a circle is made up of 60 degrees. An angle that turns through one 360th of a circle is called a one angle degree. That means that 360 one degree angles sharing the same point make a circle. The angle below through three, three angles, so it measured. It started out and it opened up one, two, three, so that's showing a three degree angle. And I wanted to show the gun, which you can see here. And if I were to start to open up the fan, it would start to make wider angles. Okay, so I could look at each one of these opening sections as a degree. It's not quite, but it would work the same way. As I continue to open up, it would be a degree, another degree, another degree. Because this angle is expanding and they have the same endpoint over here at this side. So that's a way to visualize um, what's happening as you get an increasing angle. The, um, those little lines that you see would be the degrees and the more degrees the wider the angle. The fewer degrees the narrower the angle. So hopefully that'll help you get a visualization of what's happening as we increase um, the number of degrees in an angle. We're increasing the size of that angle. Hopefully that'll help you visualize. Okay, so now example one. David waits by the crosswalk way to school. The angle outlined on the street turns through 50 one degree angles. Find the measure of the angle. So we're looking at these green lines here and it's saying if I were to count degree angles all the way up, I would get 50 one degree angles between this line here and, or I'm sorry, this ray here because it has an end point, up to this here. So you see this little arc, the pink arc that's shown there, that is showing the, the measurement of degree. The angle turns 50 one degree angles sharing the same end point, which is right here, make the angle. So the angle has a measure of 50 degrees. And that's how we write that. So on page 894, the back of the page we were just looking at, Apple box, and they're showing us some different types of angles. We've got a right angle which on our clock that we talked about in the previous lesson would be between 12 and 3 or it could be between 12 and 9 any of these angles that are that one that one that one or that one would all be a right angle so anything that takes up a quarter turn from where it starts to where it finishes of this full circle would be a right angle and that is 90 degrees because if you take 360 and divide it by a quarter by four you'll get 90 so a quarter turn of the 360 is 90 degrees okay so now taking that and we'll just focus on our first one that I drew there that's 90 degrees anything that is less than that so anything that would be in this range in here would be an acute angle. Acute little angle. And anything that is bigger than that, more than a quarter turn, is going to be obtuse. So that's how we label. We label them right, which is that quarter turn. Acute is less than that obtuse is greater than that. And again, it can be rotated anyway. So anything that is less than that 
quarter turn, no matter which way it's facing, is going to be acute. And anything that is greater than that quarter turn, regardless of where it's facing, will be labeled obtuse. Okay, so when they've rotated this, like they have in example one, our endpoint is at the bottom, and they're showing this little box symbol here, which tells me, as it does here, that it's a 90 degree angle, so it is a right angle because 90 degrees is a right angle. This one I can see is greater than the 90 degrees, is greater than 90 and less than 180. So being greater than 90 makes it an obtuse angle. So there's those two. Okay, so here they've given you two that are just the turns like we looked at in the last lesson. So if we started here and went, followed this red arrow all the way over here, measure as the angle in degrees as a fraction of a full turn. So it's asking you for both answers, both degrees and the fraction of a full turn. So remember, if we're looking at this, regardless of how it's facing, whether it's facing that way, or that way, or that way, it's still that same quarter of the full circle, because remember, it's a quarter of the circle, and that one-fourth turn is 90 degrees. So hopefully that helps you with number four. And then you're just going to extend that to instead of looking at a quarter turn, we're now looking from there to... Now remember when I spun the spinner and the purple was pointing at the pointer to it was directly opposite the pointer. How much of a turn is that? And then what is the degrees? You'll have three digit degrees answer for number three. Number five through eight, you're just going to label right, acute, or obtuse. So remember if it's this right angle like it's showing in number four, that would be right. If it's greater than that, it's going to be obtuse regardless of how it's spun. And if it's less than that, it's acute regardless of how it's spun. Okay, draw an example of each figure. So here you get to draw your own illustrations. You can use these examples as you've labeled up here to help you draw those. But you'll need one acute and one obtuse. Now 11. An angle that measures 30 degree turns through how many one degree... An angle that measures 30 degrees turns through how many one degree angles? So you're just going to need a number answer there. How many one degree angles make up 30 degree turn? Classify the angle in exercise 11 as acute, right, or obtuse. So once you've got this, you might want to compare that to a 90 degree right angle and see if it is a right angle, if it's less than right or greater than right. An angle that measures 100 degree turns through how many one degree angles. So just like what you did for number 11, you're going to do the same thing for number 13 except for instead of using 30, you're going to use 100. And then you're going to label that as acute, right, or obtuse. Now number 15, it's not asking you, thank goodness, it's not asking you for the measure of degrees, it's just asking you for the fraction of a full turn. So remember if we started it off and we went all the way to off, that would be a full turn on this thir the timer that's set for 30 minutes. How much of a full turn is shown by this angle? This one, it's going to ask you to label whether this is acute, right, or obtuse. So look at the picture, go back and look at the purple box, and see what the best label for that green angle that you see there would be. 
Okay. Now here you're drawing your own angles. The first angle is a right angle, so draw that. The second angle turns through more one degree angles than the first. So that tells you what right away whether it's acute right or obtuse just by that clue. So draw one of those. The third angle turns through less one degree angles than the first angle. So that'll tell you whether it's acute right or obtuse. And then you're going to label. They've given you right this first one, which one is acute and which one is obtuse. And I'll expect your drawings to be in this section of your work here. How is a one degree angle helpful in classifying angles? As we talked about, we can tell by how many number, how high the number is in the degree, how wide open the circle is. The more numbers, the wider that angle will be. So an obtuse angle is going to have a very large number of degrees, and an acute will have less than that. So hopefully that helps you answer in your own words number 18. Okay, when you start your homework, it's asking you again, like we did at the top of the back um, of your work, for two different answers, the degrees and the part fraction of a turn. So it'll either be one whole, a half, or a quarter turn based on, you can use this pink arrow that they've drawn there to show you how much of a turn has been completed by the angle that's shown. And then how many degrees is that? Remember, we're looking at the quarter turn would be 90, the half turn would be 180, regardless of how it's spun. If it's a straight line, it's going to be 180, and if we go all the way around and back to where we started, that's going to be 360 degrees. So that'll help you figure out your measurements there. And if you have any questions, you can email me. When you get to the back of the homework, you'll have some more angles to classify, and you'll get to classify the angle that's shown by this diver here. It's the red lines. These are making the rays extending out. What is that a right, acute, or obtuse angle that is shown here? Number eight, the diver wants completely straight as she enters the pool. What will be the measure of her angle, the angle her body will form then? So a complete straight line would be what degrees? So you don't need to label it right, acute, or obtuse. It wants the degrees for that one. Don't forget to do the vocabulary. They've given you the words. All you need to do is choose the correct words for the, the lines that are provided. Don't make up your own words, but please do this section. I know it's challenging, but it's very important, especially in the geometry chapter. And then choose which one of these four is the acute angle. There's only one correct choice there. Thanks for all your hard work. Keep it up, and um, make sure you're working for an hour on your math. If you finish this in less than an hour, then you have your spiral review, your prodigy, and um, your work math workbook that you can do in rich or um, review. Thanks.